We all know that COVID-19 is no quitter. Stats are disheartening and the days can be downright depressing. But as the Rhodes family showed us yesterday, hope is never lost. They've been filling the town of Milton with these signs, helping to brighten spirits a bit. And here on Delmarva Life, we've been doing wellness checks with local leaders. And so we thought it was fitting to check in with Milton's town manager today, Christy Rogers. And so she joins us via Zoom. How you doing, Christy? Good, Katie. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So just tell me a little bit about, first of all, what do you think about the effort with, with all the signs? I think it's wonderful. You know, I can look out my window and see the sign as well of hope. And I think it's a pure um, vision of, of Milton's community. You know, we have so many people involved in the community making Milton strong. And I think, um, you know, one of these efforts is reinforcing, you know, our strength and how we will get through this pandemic and we will become vibrant again. Absolutely. So from the town's perspective, how are things going? I think we're going well, Katie. I think, you know, even though our downtown is pretty much shut down and a lot of our businesses, we're still doing what we can. The town is operating, though we're on a reduced staff at this time. Um, we're doing telework and just accomplishing all that we can still do. Our businesses are still you know, serving the community to the best of their capacity. We have folks like our nonprofits, the food pantry. We even have M&J, who has done three um, uh, different um, dates to provide meals to our community. And I think it just shows, again, how strong we are. Yeah. And I remember talking to you at the end of November, and we talked a little bit about how you were so excited about the growth that was happening in town. Do you think that's still happening? Like, how do you kind of, what do you think about, you know, that now? Our growth is still happening, though we're not able to have our public meetings at this time. Um, you know, I still talk to our, you know, builders, our contractors, um, developers, you know, folks that have come forward and want public hearings to ask for zoning requests or annexation requests. We're still growing. I don't think um, we've seen the impact, you know, hit our community like that yet, but you never know what will happen as it continues, but I'm hopeful, you know, as these mm -hmm. signs around town go, you know, I'm hopeful that we will continue to grow and that this does not have a, you know, a strong impact on our future. Yeah. And I know kind of speaking of the future, you have had to cancel a couple events or one event or? As of right now, there um, our Horseshoe Crab Festival that the Chamber would have hosted in, in May mm -hmm. um, is canceled at this time. We've had a few other smaller events, but again, we're planning it day by day. Yeah. You know, we just look forward to the day that we all can have our public gatherings again and, you know, see the vibrant events come around in our park. And like you know, we have our summer concert series that would kick off the end of May. So mm -hmm. um, we're just looking forward to it. You know, we're just yeah. looking for that dream you know, ahead of us that, um, you know, this won't linger around too long. Yeah, fingers crossed for the best for that. What are you hearing from local businesses? I'm not hearing much other than, you know, we just anticipate the day we can open again. Mm -hmm. um, there is a huge impact, you know, to come into town in the morning and see our, you know, our downtown not full of cars. Yeah. It's heartbreaking. Mm -hmm. um, but again, I know that we're trying to just be there and support them. Uh, we are posting a lot of information to our website. I know there has been, you know, federal and local you know, declarations made to help our businesses, and I hope that they're taking advantage of that. Yeah, and so if people do want to support local businesses, what would you say would be the best way? Uh, definitely, um, as far as our restaurants go, order takeout, buy gift mm -hmm. cards. Um, the same thing for our theater. I know they're looking for memberships and sponsorships, and um, again, to purchase gift cards just to keep them going for right now. Um, our other businesses, our retail, they're open. Um, they're working under the state emergency declarations, you know, limiting how many can be in a store at one time. But again, I look at Milton as the gem. Mm -hmm. You know, we are still thriving the best we can. Absolutely. That's good to hear. I love that. <laughs> Christy, thank you so much for, for checking in with us and letting us know how you guys are doing. Obviously, we want the best for the town. <laughs> thank you, Katie. And uh, again, Milton Strong, we'll make it. I love it.